Well, um, you know, tonight was obviously a very emotional night, but uh, it's one that was about our team and what we accomplished. Uh, and winning a uh, Pac-12 regular season championship is a goal of ours. Uh, oftentimes it's not realized. It's, it's not as easy as maybe everybody thinks when you consider the nine road games, the nine home games, and the totality of playing through adversity and injuries and all the things that happen in these uh, nine weeks or so that make up a conference season. And for us to uh, clinch at least a tie is very gratifying. And we're playing for an outright championship on Saturday, which uh, we're all very excited about. Dusan uh, tonight broke the all-time win record in this program's storied history. And you know, for the great seniors, the players that have played here for four years, that have won championships in so many big games, I think that's a testament not only to the type of player Dusan has become, but also the, the type of young man that he is. He's, uh, he's really one of a kind. And uh, so for him to do that on, on a night like tonight, I think really brought it all together for us. What do you think of the standing ovation that you had before? You know, I really didn't know what to think about it uh, other than, you know, it's just very, very emotional. Uh, Tucson and uh, our fans, they've always been the very, very best to my family and myself and have supported our basketball program uh, like no other. And, uh, you know, to see them do that uh, is very emotional and, you know, something I'll never, ever forget. John, what were the last seven, eight days uh, from the Trier suspension or the ineligibility to, to this afternoon? Uh, what was going through your mind? Did you think about the players? Did you think that maybe you wouldn't be here this weekend at all? Or I mean, how did you feel emotionally? You know, right now I, I've made my statement, you know, from this afternoon. and Everything that I said in that statement, I, I'll stand by. You know, right now for me it's, it's about focusing on, on the now and focusing on coaching our team, running this basketball program. Um, I will answer your question from this perspective that our team has certainly dealt with a lot of adversity and uh, with young people you know college sports sometimes uh, you don't give it enough credit for preparing you for what's to come when you leave school for the rest of life and uh, we have a lot of players that have seen a lot been through a lot understand uh, what criticism feels like understands when when maybe things just aren't going well and you learn how to fight through those times and I think everybody that's on this year's team will really benefit a lot from that and my hope is that we benefit on the court as well as we come down the home stretch here in March. Sometimes those type of things galvanize the team. You think that has the potential to do that? I think so. Uh, you didn't really feel that way tonight. You know, it's been a hard week for those guys. Uh, you could tell some of our turnovers, we weren't as in sync maybe as, as you would want us to be, but we played with great effort. Our defense was uh, very good and, you know, I credit Stanford. Both times that we've played Stanford during the game and after the game, you know, I really felt like, you know, they're, they're a team that can be in the NCAA tournament. You know, they have such a unique mix of players, and, and Jared, I, I think, is one of the best coaches uh, that, that we face. So uh, we knew they were playing well, and they are playing for a lot. So uh, I think the fact that we were able to, to defeat them in tonight's game is also, it's gratifying because we knew we beat a very good team that was playing well. Is there any hesitation on your part or, or transition being away from him for five days and, and having Lorenzo Rome, uh, Rome or co coaching him? I mean, as far as things you were doing, just that difference? I mean, Dusan said it was pretty similar, but uh, I didn't know from your perspective. No, you're, when you're a coaching staff uh, in college basketball, you're, you're your own team. And, uh, you know, Lorenzo and, and Mark Phelps, Austin Carroll, all those guys did a great job in a very difficult time, but they running, we're running our system. You know, it's every one of us have a different personality, but the way we practice, the things that we do are, are going to be similar, especially for a short period of time like that of five days, six days. Dusan said that he'd never seen you quite like you were today in terms of excitement. Do you feel that way? Do you feel you were different today than you usually are before a game? I mean, you see a lot of him. <laughs> yeah. He might be being, being nice. I don't know if I was any more or less excited. You know, there's uh, a lot of emotions going through. It certainly wasn't your normal day, but uh, but we got to the game, and, and I think, uh, like I said, with the results of tonight's game, I, I think we feel very good about what we've done. You know, part of when you're coaching at Arizona and playing, you don't want to ride the, the coattails of past teams and past players. and 
their accomplishments. You want to create your own legacy. And that's something we talk a lot about. And, you know, being able to have a, a regular season conference championship as part of this year's season is, uh, is something that we, we uh, I think, cherish. And you've got someone like Dusan, especially. That's his third. You, uh, you, uh, they got loose for that wide open dunk that was the last time they were ahead in 2019. Uh, you called timeout. They, did, they scored like three points in the next seven and a half minutes. What changed? You know, our defense was good at the end. You know, timeouts probably get too much credit. Uh, or too much blame, you know, it's, it's, there's really no magic wand. Uh, I thought we were winded at that point in the game, so we were able to sub and maybe get our, get our feet back under us. This may be a dumb question, but you're glad today's over? You know, I don't really look at it that way. You know, I, I think, you know, for, for me, it's, uh, you know, kind of taking things one day at a time, and uh, I think that's the best way of doing things in sports, especially. And tomorrow's a new day, and, uh, you know, what, what comes about, we have to be able to handle and uh, do things right and be prepared. And, you know, we have one more game left here at home, Cal, on Saturday. And, you know, the process to get ready for that game is really begins here uh, very shortly. What, what areas of DeAndre's game have you seen grow from when you got him to, to this point in the season? I think just overall, DeAndre is a lot of young players. Uh, he's just grown in every facet of the game, but he's also become uh, more mature more responsible, you know, things that happen in college where you learn how to manage your time, how to do things off the court and on the court, you know, play with other talented players. There's really nothing that he does here in early March that he's not better at. You know, his free throw sometimes he'll rush it because he's a very good free throw shooter. Uh, but, you know, other than that, you know, I, I think that he's just, he's moving in this direction and he's not going to stop. That's really what we talked about, you know, control the things that we can control. Uh, we talk a lot about, you know, eliminating clutter. You know, I think it's healthy to think about uh, in a locker room and with a team, especially as we get closer here to March where, you know, you can't really react to, th to people or things that are on the outside. You have to really look at each other, trust each other. We're the people that practice every day, know each other, has, have been through this journey. And uh, I think, that, you know, a lot of times uh, when you go through adversity, you get closer. So for us, I think it's just a focused approach. Uh, a stick to itiveness, you know, a family in sports that's uh, that has to really rely on each other. That's what we talked about. What do you think about the effort turned in tonight by your bench, particularly guys like Keon Pender? Didn't have many points, but he had a couple of really big blocks. Um, the defensive end really plays a lot down defense. What do you think the way your bench played? Well, we've been on a quest all season to develop our bench, and it's not the statistics a lot of times that, that will reveal how well they helped us. It will be things like you'd mentioned, you know, Keanu's defense, his willingness to come in and do the dirty work around the basket and play hard. And we had a number of guys do that. Emmanuel Acott did a really good job. And, uh, you know, we, we weren't able to get Brandon in the game, but I think Brandon will come back here on Saturday and we'll do that. But you get this late in the year, injuries, foul trouble, fatigue, you can't do it just with four or five players. And we've preached that all year, and that'll be a big part of our success moving forward. Confident uh, Alonzo would get the appeal, especially after that second test where it was negative, or were you, who knows? You know, I, again, I, I'm not really in that realm. Uh, we had our fingers crossed and, and hoping that it would it'd go that way, and um, I think we're all really elated for him and for us that it did. Not just for you, but for DeAndre also. You hear these things and, and you can't respond to it at all. How difficult is it to kind of just have to sit back and listen to everything? It's difficult, but, you know, we're very fortunate, and you know we have uh, a, an amazing president uh, and an athletic director and a group of people that that are smart, that uh, trust a lot of different things that we have here, and uh, we relied on those people, and uh, that's how you have to do it when when things happen. And uh, I'm very fortunate to 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 be here. Sure, with everything going on this week, were you able to participate in the game planning at all for this game? No. It was really different. But it's actually a pretty good job if you only have to show up for the game, you know. Uh, but, but, you know, again, we run the same system. Uh, those guys that kept me abreast, especially today, and we met for an hour and a half, two hours. It's almost like preparing for a quick turnaround. Was that your choice, or was that something you, while you were going through the process, you figured to stay away? Uh, 
th those guys handled all the basketball activities while I was gone. But I mean, did you want did you want to help out if you could, or how did that work out that it was just done that way? Again, I I just did what what I was supposed to do. What was it like, Sean, um, watching the Oregon loss? Did you get a chance to watch it live? What was that experience like? It wasn't a good one, you know. Uh, I tried my best. I was hoping that we could pull it out, but I thought the guys did a really good job under those circumstances and, you know, played in a difficult uh, arena against a very good team, tough circumstances. I was proud of them. Sean, given presuming the surrealness of the last six days, did tonight represent a sense of normalcy, or is that not really, is it a new normal going forward for the, you and this team? It, 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 I think uh, it felt normal, you know, once you get into the game. And, of course, we're at home, you know, we're at McHale, and uh, we were playing for a lot. I, th I thought we had a focused approach leading up to the game. You know, there's no member of our team or organization that doesn't realize the meaning of winning a regular season championship. So, you know, once we were all here together, it uh, was business as usual. Is it safe to describe for you surrealness? Is that a word you would use to describe the last six days? Very difficult. Yeah, Ira, uh, we anticipate potentially could get cleared tomorrow. And if he does, he would be available for Saturday. You know, I, with the concussion test, you have a number of symptoms. His symptoms have really, I think, almost dissolved into maybe a single symptom. So that's a good sign. When you rejoined the team, how did you feel that they had, within each other, kind of stayed together while you were gone? I thought they did a great job. You know, we, uh, we have a coaching staff. You know, Mark Phelps has been a head coach and has been around a lot of basketball. Lorenzo's been a head coach at, at Washington in this conference for the last 15 years. They're in really good hands, and those are people that I really trust. So when you got there first today, it didn't take a little bit to get them to focus in on tonight? No, they were, they were locked in and ready to go. Sean, there's a lot, of, um, a lot of messaging on social media in terms of your former players really having your back. Um, did any of them reach out to you, and what did that mean? A lot of them did. It meant a lot. You know, at some point, you know, when you go through something like that, that's, that's really all you have. One more question. Are you sticking with the senior night after? I know last year was yes. you were kind of questioning mm -hmm. that, but you'll still do it. Yeah. So thank you.